The reason I was interested in being a member of the CEO Solutions Group started out about accountability. As a CEO of a company, I didn't have anyone that I needed to report to. And so I was looking for external sources of accountability to help me drive myself and drive my company to grow more. I'd sort of been looking for a, an executive coach type uh, thing because I, I needed some help. And I met Harlan and, and started out with the group then. And, and I think I've been here longer than anyone. And, and it's just been a, a great uh, way to network with other business owners and, and try to solve problems. A lot of the challenges that we face as CEOs are similar challenges, even though we're in different industries. Uh, we all have employees, we all have sales, we all have operations. Um, so uh, actually talking to somebody who is outside of your industry is often helpful because it gives you an exterior perspective to your problem. Well, there's a, there's a lot. There's not only the knowledge you gain from the meetings and the one-on-ones, but it's just getting to know other people that are doing the same things and in the same scenario that uh, makes you feel just a little more comfortable about all the problems we have to deal with every day and uh, it's just motivating really. So what keeps me coming back is the boardroom portion of, of our meetings. We start out our meetings with kind of general updates, um, updates to you know what happened since we met last time, what are we looking forward to, those types of items. But the boardroom is when there's new issues that come before the group and they might be an issue that a member has been dealing with in the past and it might be a completely new issue. And um, the, the boardroom benefits both the person who is presenting the issue and people who are listening to the issue in that if you're presenting, obviously you're looking for help with an issue that you're facing. But when you're listening to an issue, it gives you perspective on maybe issues that you have that are similar. And then oftentimes, or there's been many times where I've, um, while listening to an issue, I've thought about a totally different issue um, or a blind spot that I may have in my company that I'll take a note of and you know check into later to make sure that there isn't a, like a issue that's buried that I'm not seeing right now. It forced us to understand why creating core values for our business is so important and how to utilize those values and make decisions based on them. Before, I just thought they were generic words that sounded nice, you know? But uh, now I understand what they mean and, that, and it's, it's actually worked phenomenally for our business. The group of guys that were in our, in our group, um, they're very um, open and share information um, we're using the, in our group, we're using the traction model and that has been really helpful for me. Um, our company is putting into practice um, much more organized as a company. We feel like we're much more in control of where things are going. We've, we've been able to realign our leadership and our extended leadership team using the traction model that, we've, that we run off of. So having the quarterly objectives, having the weekly metrics and being able to pin those all together into a yearly yearly strategy and then break that into quarters and weeks. I think the biggest outcome is we have created a more positive culture for our company um, through, through the use of traction and the input that I get from the fellow roundtable members. We've been able to really um, improve the work experience for our, our employees and also um, a better experience for our clients. As a leader, it's really helped me teach my team uh, as I've learned the tools to, um, to help teach my executive members how to, to be more in the traction mindset of putting the big things first and worrying about the smaller things last. Um, so really, again, keeping focus on the big picture and helping communicate that to the team and it, uh, has been really helpful. The reason I keep coming back to the CEO Solutions Group is because it's evolved into more than just the accountability aspect now. I still appreciate that very much about the group, but now I'm really amazed every time at the, the knowledge that I gain, the insights, the ideas that the other members bring to the meetings that help spur me and, and again, just reinforce my drive to keep growing and keep making my company better. Well, I think uh, since uh, becoming a member, I've, I've taken the time uh, at least one day a month when we meet to, to uh, not work in my business but work on my business and I think to get a kind of a 10,000 foot view of what's going on has, has helped us to grow and succeed. So the group has been able to provide 
our company with the clarity of what we're accomplishing and what we're getting done so our company can stay not only competitive in the short term but also be able to handle the future growth that we're heading towards.